you have Windows 10 installed and now you want to use Linux on the same laptop or desktop. My name is Aditya Jain and today I will walk you through the safest process. Let's roll the intro and then get started. use two operating systems on the same device we have two options first install one OS physically and second as virtual machine and second to make your device dual bootable virtual machine option is the easiest way I have made a lot of videos previously you can check their links in the description box and in this video we will make your device dual bootable in the safest way so you may not lose any of your data though it's always recommended to have backup before doing experiments like this let's quickly see prerequisites first you should have windows 10 which you already have second a usb drive at least 8 gigabytes third linux iso in our case it's ubuntu fourth Rufus or any other software to make your USB bootable So go to your favorite browser and Simply type Ubuntu you will see the first link from ubuntu.com click on this Go to download and Here you will see whatever the option available for Ubuntu desktop I will go with the LTS version which is 20.04 and 20.10 is the latest version if you want to go with this you can but i generally prefer lts so i will go with 20.04 lts click on this and it will start a downloading meanwhile ubuntu iso downloads let's go to rufus so type rufus and hit enter you will probably see the first link from rufus.ie click on this yes scroll down and you will see all the latest downloading links available click on this rufus 3.13 and uh, it will start downloading yes my rufus is downloaded and ubuntu is still downloading all right now Rufus and Ubuntu ISO both downloaded. It's a good time to plug your USB. Yes. You can see here my 8 GB USB is currently empty. If you have some data, it is recommended to take backup because your USB will be formatted in the process. Let's go to downloads. And yes, here is Rufus and here is Ubuntu ISO. Now run Rufus EXE. Double click on this. Click yes. It's asking me do you want to allow Rufus to check application updates online. I will click no. If you wish, you can click yes. All right. This automatically detect my USB. I can see my USB name here, HP 8GB. And here boot selection will be ISO. All right. Click select to select your ISO. And yes. Now this partition scheme must match with your partition style. To know your partition style, go to disk management, hit win key plus X, then K. This will open your disk management and uh, it will list all the disks available here we are interested to know partition style of that disk in which we are about to install ubuntu i have only the one option here disk zero the disk one is my usb so i have only this disk zero option available so i will right click this and go to properties here you can see a tab volumes and under this I can see partition style GPT. 
so my partition style is gpt this mean i have to select partition scheme as gpt here if your partition style is mbr you will select mbr so i will go with gpt and target system is uefi which is all good now everything is good here click start to start the process okay write in iso image mode recommended okay it's giving me the final warning that my usb will be formatted so yes no issue click okay you can sit back and relax this will take a while all right so my ubuntu bootable usb is ready i can simply close it and you can see here go to this pc and yes here are all the required files so we are left with only one prerequisite which is 25 gb at least free space on disk again open your disk management and here you will see all the available disk you have most of you like me have only this disk 0 and uh, here are all the partitions this is my c partition in which i have installed my windows and uh, we will be needing 25 gb unallocated space so to make any volume unallocated you have to shrink it but make sure it must have that much free space for example this is a 100 gb volume and i want to make 25 gb unallocated space out of this it must have 25 gb free space so now this volume is entirely empty so no issue right click on this and click shrink volume and here type 25 gb in mb like 25 600 this is exactly 25 gb and click on shrink this will make a 25 gb unallocated space for you but for now what i will do i will make this complete 100 gb unallocated so for this right click on this and click delete volume click yes yes you can see here 100 gb an allocated space and its color is black and you can see here black means an allocated so by now all prerequisites are done do one last thing note down all volumes capacity this is the only way we can distinguish between volumes at the time of installing ubuntu since we have completed all prerequisites we can safely remove our usb and shut our windows system down after your system is completely shut down plug your usb again and open by settings of your system i am using a lenovo laptop so it's by settings are much easier to open i just need to press a little button all right i can see few options on my screen which is normal startup by setup boot menu and system recovery so i will go to the boot menu and here i can select whatever the device i want to use to boot my system i can see my usb here which is hp use down arrow key and hit enter so yes this was the grub boot loader and uh, it will start my ubuntu automatically you can see a little animation of ubuntu and uh, ubuntu is self written bottom yes i can hear that ubuntu 20.04 crazy sound and here i see two options 
try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So I will go with install Ubuntu and uh, I select language as English. Here select your keyboard. English US is just fine with me. Click on continue. It's asking you a normal installation or minimal installation. It's recommended to go with normal installation and also check this install third party software for graphics Wi-Fi hardware and download update while installing Ubuntu. So yes, these settings are just fine. Click continue. All right. This is a very important step. It's asking me to install Ubuntu alongside with Windows Boot Manager, which we actually want, but uh, we will not go with this particular option. The second option is Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu. This will erase your Windows bootloader and uh, your machine will turn into Ubuntu only. So we do not want this also. So we will go with something else. In something else, you can create swap and root partition as of your own. Click on something else, then click continue. And here you can see all the disk available. If you remember, I told you earlier in this video to note all your volume sizes so that we can distinguish it now. So I can see here, this is a Windows boot manager. We do not want to disturb it and at the bottom I can see a free space here. So this is the 100 gigs of free space which I left for my Ubuntu installation. Now first we will create a partition for our swap area. Click on this free space, right click on this and click on this add button. Here a lot size for your swap area and it is recommended to have a double of your physical RAM. My RAM is of 8 GB. So it's better to give swap area of 16 GB. So I will simply type 16,000 and partition will be logical and location will be end of this space. Use it as swap area. Now click OK. Now here, this is my remaining free space, which I will give to my root directory. Again, right click on this, click on add and allot all remaining space to the root directory the partition will again be logical and it will be end of the space and use it as extension 4 this is a recommended setting and mount point will be the forward slash which is nothing but your root indication click on ok now at the end device for bootloader installation select the root directory sda which is dev sda 9 click anywhere on this drop down and select dev sda 9. All these settings are just fine for your Ubuntu installation and we can go ahead and install Ubuntu now. So click on install now. This is a warning page and it's showing me all the summary which I have made changes into it. This is my sda, uh, basically my root directory and this is my swap. So yes, everything looks fine. We can Click on continue. Yes. Now it's asking where am I? So, so India is selected. It is fine. Click continue. Go ahead and give it a name. Like in my case, I'm giving it educators. And this will be your computer name. You can keep it same. And give it a strong memorable password. So uh, it's suggesting me it's a weak password but it's okay for now. Alright, select login automatically or require my password to login. The recommended setting is to require my password. So I will keep it default, click continue. So yes, the installation process is started and you can now sit back and relax. This will definitely take a while.
all right so by now my ubuntu is installed along with my windows so yes the process is done it's asking me to restart this machine so i will simply click on this restart now button and it will restart my machine all right it says remove the installation media so i am unplugging my usb in and then press enter okay so now here you will see the bootloader asking me to boot ubuntu or windows if you want to boot your ubuntu use up and down arrow keys and hit ubuntu and if you want to run your windows so go to windows boot manager and hit enter so yes you can see here now your device is dual bootable this is the welcome page of my ubuntu enter your password all right this is my ubuntu and let's power off this machine and open our windows so yes this is the grub bootloader previously we have booted our ubuntu now let's select window boot manager to boot our windows so yes this is my windows machine both operating systems are working perfectly so yeah that's all in this video thanks for watching give it a like and do subscribe to educators